I'm back, everybody. So last night, I had to go to the ER, and the, it's called the emergency room, yeah? I was rushed from the doctor's facility um, after I had an assessment done on my spine. They were seeing my range of motion. They were seeing what was exactly wrong with me. Uh, it was a massive consultation over 30 minutes with the doctor. The doctor wasn't the easiest guy to work with, and his assistant was a little bit skeptical about the cannabis use I was using, blaming it on allergies. So it went a little rough. But as soon as I started walking out the doors, <clears throat> I had to take my cane with me because my spine was starting to seize pretty hard. It was, and my muscles were just clamping around it. And it, man, it was so much pain I was going through. Stabbing pains, burning, stinging, you name it. The whole list was, the whole shebang was going on. So I'm, as I'm walking down the, the, the pathway to go to my lift car, at, AKA Uber, you know, my taxi, um, my spine just completely gave out and it seized up and I went, oh, shh. And as soon as I did, I had to lay down. So I went to my side and I'm getting down onto one knee. I'm trying to lay down and then it just, God, it just starts digging in hard. Like it feels like a knife. It's just stabbing in to my spinal cord. It's just so painful. And I just lay there, put my head on the side on this piece of grass on the ground and I just start crying, man. I just start... Because it was so painful. I was like, ah. And I'm just, tears are coming out of my eyes. I'm gripping my, my, my back in pain. These two old ladies come over and ask me, oh my goodness. Like, what is going on? And I'm, I'm just like, my spine. My, my, my spine is in a, in, a, in a ton of pain right now. And the nurse runs out. Not from the place that I came from. They didn't care enough about me. No, it was another clinic next door that came out. The nurse came out. She said, I'm a nurse. I can help you. Grab my hands. What's your name? And asking me questions. You know? Another guy's calling um, hospital. Call the emergency services. My Uber driver comes out and says, that's Mike. That's a disabled veteran. I was just talking to him when he was up coming up here. Hey, he's a great guy. Take care of him. You know? And then the, uh, the ambulance. <laughs> fire service. <laughs> it's all coming up to get me. You know, and then they're like, can you move your spine? I'm like, no, I cannot move my spine. So they say, do the best you can. So they shift a little bit. So I had to move up my shoulder blade. They have to put this um, this litter, this like uh, bed underneath me. They strap me in. They lift me up off the ground on their shoulder blades. These brave, cool men. And then they put me into the back of the ambulance. And man, they said, where are we going? And they asked me and I said, the nearest hospital possible. And they are hauling ass. My eyes are full with like water and tears. I'm just looking up and I just hear like, just burr, burr, as they are going. I can feel the speed. My They're going so fast. My thing that I'm in starts to move. And it starts to move back. And I can feel my body going like this, like G-force. And I'm like, holy crap, they get me that quick. Guy pulls me off. He kicks down the door. And he gets me to emergency services. We got a guy with a spinal injury. Spinal injury. Ex-army disabled veteran. Spinal injury. Request help. And then they're pulling me into this other room. Into this other room. And the first thing they say is do not move him. Move, shift him onto our bed. But do not move his spine. Keep him exactly how he is. We don't want to make things worse. Doctor comes out about 15, 20 minutes later after nurses have plugged a bunch of stuff in me. Blood pressure, pulse, heart rate, finger in the tongue, IV going into my vein, uh, medication going into me. And they're like asking me all these questions like, um, what happened to you? Where's your history? What, who do you usually go through? I say, I usually go for the VA, uh, the Veterans Affairs for all my health care benefits and all this and that. They said... What is going on primarily? I said, from my skull to my tailbone, I've got deficiencies. I've got a lot of injuries. And I gave the piece of paper from, from the VA gave me to the nurse with everything on there. The diagnosis, the diagnostics, what the problems are, the symptoms. I've got everything that's going on with me from the head to the, the chest to the, 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 the lower spine to everything, to my feet, everything. You know, something that the guy that, I, that assessed me before didn't even barely look at. He looked at and kind of just threw on the side. I don't want to see your diagnostics. Your diagnostics. Your diagnostics. The first guy that was assessing me for my range of motion through the state, that guy was a complete asshole. Like, he could have been a lot, lot nicer and, and 
but he was the one pushing me through, through a lot of it, and that got caused my spine to seize. Like, he should have backed the hell off when I said, I got a ton of pain right now, you know, and I can't do that kind of exercise. I'll try to do that one, but that one, I definitely can't. Didn't work with me, you know, pushed me to the point where my spine was way more inflamed, way more hurting, you know. And then the nurse to say, oh, your, my, my allergies are acting up because you're using medical cannabis. I was eating it after I'd been put through hell. You can't blame me. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. You know, it's legal. It's not illegal. You know? They, people just give me a real hard time, man, in that office. And as soon as I got out, man, my spine seized. Part of me was thankful to be out of the office, and, but a part of me was thankful not to be going in the hospital. Because, man, what they found, they did MRI, CT scans, all the way up and down my spine, up and down my neck, my head, my feet. Uh, I was in a machine, I was going bang, 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 bang. It sounded like there was a, a war going on in that machine. You know, they said, oh, are you claustrophobic? I said, I said, no, no. You know, because I'm thinking like shrink wrapped in like wrap tape or something, you know, completely composed. You got a little air to breathe out of a tube or something. MRI is easy for me. Like if I'm in an MRI tube, I don't care because I just go to sleep anyway. And I just listened to the little explosions going on around me. The boom, 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 boom. Luckily, the guy was super cool, by the way. If you're watching my video, thank you, Brian, for putting those headphones on my head. And so I could listen to um, uh, reggae. He let me listen to reggae while I was getting my medical MRI done. It was great. It made things so much better because my pain was fucking high as shit. And I was like... I need this music, man. I need to relax. He had a fish tank thing on the top of me when I was going in there. The, the water feature with the, the fish just helped a little bit too. I thought, this, is just, this room is so much better than the other rooms. Every room should be like this. Anyways, after they went through my MRIs and they checked and they looked, well, the thing is, is that they uh, came across... Some information. They did see the previous damage on there. You know, they did see the fractures, the pinched nerves, the pause defect, uh, everything, uh, the, 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 the shrunken discs. But they did say that they found uh, two bulging discs. Now, previously, there was only one bulging disc. I did have a collapsed disc, a narrow disc, and a bulging disc. Now I have two bulging discs now. What that means is that the disc between the vertebrae Instead of it being nicely inlined and it's doing its job of absorbing shock within the vertebrae and vertebrae, yeah, it's pushing out somewhere and it's pushing w inwards towards my spinal cord. If it tears into it and rips it and spinal fluid leaks, I'm going to have a huge problem on my hands. That means memory loss, right, all the time. That means motor functions will start to decline and that means that I will be in a wheelchair. So I was fucking worried that those two discs were not protruding too much into the spinal cord, both of them. Um, they said, we, we're, we're going to see if we have to get surgery done, because it's pretty close to the spinal cord. It's called the fecal sac. The fecal sac is what lines the spinal cord. Okay, it protects it, it holds the fluid in, the cerebral fluid in. Okay? Um, so they, uh, they, they, let, they let me wait for three, four, four, four and a half hours go by. And then finally a doctor comes in and says, you're on the borderline of getting surgery done. However, at this time, we're not going to proceed with it. There is some clearance there, okay? But if things do get worse, let us know. Keep in contact, this and that, and take it very carefully. So, they gave me all these pain meds. They, they kind of, like, let me on my way. Now, the problem was at the end of the day, this is some humor to the whole story, which was crazy. They took my pants and my shorts, and they forgot to give them back. So I had to walk out of the ER, yeah, with a dress on. Like one of those, like, like it's not like a dress dress, but it's like a medical, like, sheet. And it looked like a dress. So there's me looking like beard, white dress, white top. I'm looking blue top. I'm looking, like, I'm looking like a homeless Jesus, right? And everyone's just staring at me. And this guy's looking at me saying, hey, man, best way to escape. As if I'm trying to escape out of there, which I wasn't planning to do. I just wanted to, I was actually uh, discharged normally. But because I didn't have my normal attire on, my normal clothes, <laughs> one gentleman that was sitting on a chair in the waiting room thought that I was trying to escape. And I said, well, some people got to do it. Just as a joke. And he laughed. So I think I made that person's day, you know, because he was probably having a stressful time. There's a lot of people out there, some frowny faces. They were in a lot of pain. People holding each other's hands, usually older people. Uh, who knows what they got? Those could, people could have had cancers. They could have had AIDS. They could have broken things. They could have had... Um, diseases who knows what they got going on in their life 
you know? And I just felt, just to make that day, guy's day one a little bit better, you know, it was just a nice thing to do as I was leaving. You guys enjoyed this story, and you guys uh, understood what I was going through last night. Great. Uh, just let you know that I'm not okay, okay, but I still am here. So if you need me, you know where to find me. Mike Z Gamer, YouTube channel. If you're new, subscribe. Uh, I put up stuff about gaming, medical, news, stories, music, uh, random clips, reactions, pretty much everything. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye.